With Dragon Ball Super Episode 104 in the history books, we've finally have gotten to learn more about Universe 11's Dispo than previously seen in Dragon Ball Super as we get to see Dispo combat the likes of Hit, but the question lingers as to how powerful Dispo is in comparison to some of the other Universal fighters. And again, if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to punch that subscribe button and turn on notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever a Dragon Ball video is posted onto this channel. For all that is in Dragon Ball news, information, and updates, hashtag notification squad. Well, according to Dragon Ball Super Episode 104, it is clear as day that even Hit after encountering Dispo, quotes in saying, I can't see his initial attack. It's like he's using time skip on me, with Topo having to say, that's our Blitz Caps in Dispo. Through repeated battles, he surpassed the speed of sound and light. He is the super speed warrior, with Hit having to say, right before I use time skip in the blink of an eye, you move at superhuman speeds. With Dispo initially having to respond by saying, I can increase my movement speed thousands of times in an instance, with Hit having to respond by saying no wonder I can't see it. Now there was one piece of dialogue stated by Topo that really should be taken into consideration, and that's the fact that Dispo was able to not only surpass the speed of sound, but also the speed of light. Now how exactly fast is the speed of light? Well going back to Einstein's E equals MC square, E having to represent energy while the M represents mass with C equaling speed of light, it is according to the scientist of 1982, that the speed of light actually has a measurement which is 299,792,458 meters per second, which was previously thought that the speed of light was in fact instantaneous, which in fact we've learned that it is not, because there are certain elements in the real world that actually surpass even the speed of light. Now having to take that massive number into consideration, Dispo makes the claim that he is able to replicate his speed in increasing his movement thousands of times over within an instant, having to take the number of 299,792,458 and being able to have the ability to travel thousands of times faster than that. Now, how fast is the speed of sound? Well, sound actually varies depending on the medium it is traveling through. Normal sound, like communication, when you're talking to somebody, is typically measured around 767.7 miles per hour, as we do have the real life record of the sound barrier be broken by the X-1 aircraft having to travel at 807.200 miles per hour. Now Dispo on the other hand is also able to replicate that thousands of times over, which was why essentially Hit was having a difficult time in having to battle someone who was able to travel thousands of times faster than both the speed of light and the speed of sound. And going back to the dialogue, Hit even pointed this out in saying the sound, when I use my time skip for a moment, I tense up my entire body, you're listening for the sound made by my muscles when they vibrate, with Dispo having to respond by saying whenever someone makes an action, their bodies tend to make noise, especially with special abilities. With Champa having to say, then we should just make a lot of noise around him because you would assume that maybe Dispo would be distracted by the noise around him, with Vados having to say, I believe he distinguishes the frequency. He can probably hear the target sound even among loud noises. So even as Dispo is specifically targeting a person, there could be sounds and noises made all around him, so as long as he's focused on his target, he is able to pretty much pick up on the vibrations from the muscles in that person's body and hearing the noise it makes and later having to go for the final blow and putting that person down. In the case of Hit in the beginning, Hit had absolutely no chance at competing with Dispo because Dispo was not only able to travel faster than light and sound, but he was also able to listen in on Hit's muscle vibration in trying to make a determination when exactly Hit was going to move, in which later on on Whis even says right before a time skip there is a brief pause where he tenses up the body, he is targeting that. In which later as we see Dispo encounter hit, we see how Topo says that warrior hit is adapting to Dispo's speed. You can see that he's getting hit but he's avoiding blows to the vital areas. Could he be getting hit on purpose? He dodged the attack by crossing dimensions later on, as we get to see how Hit was also able to keep up with Dispo speed in learning because that's what an assassin does, as proven by Hit's history, he's able to improve mid-battle or during the course of battle as he was losing against Son Goku during the Universe 6 tournament. Just as he was losing against Dispo, he needed to adapt to Dispo speed in order to catch up, in which later on allowed him catching even Dispo's hyper 
her movements off guard, in which Dispo even says he read my movements, with Hit later on having to say I use the same muscle movements as a time skip to lure you in, and that's when Dispo said you pretended to use time skip to get me to attack you and you countered it, with Vados having to reply later on by saying in battles of incredible speeds, a moment's hesitation spells defeat. So it wasn't as if Hit was completely vulnerable to Dispo's attacks, he just wasn't adapting during that time as Topo even pointed out in the fact that Hit was actually able to get Hit on purpose in trying to keep up with Dispo and understanding and learning about his movements, in which Goku even became a Super Saiyan God later on, in which later Beerus points out in saying he's faster than Super Saiyan and consumes less stamina than Blue, in which Goku later on points out Dispo's flaws in saying your speed's pretty impressive, but your movements are too linear. So long as I time it right, it ain't too hard, with later on Whis having to say he changed to Blue for an instant when attacking and maximizing his speed and power, giving Goku a similar advantage in trying to keep up with Dispo's rapid speed, and if anything, Dispo is possibly one of the fastest fighters in this entire tournament given the nature of his speed and having to be able to replicate that thousands of times over, but as fast and precise Dispo is with his attacks, it looks like Goku was also able to adapt alongside Hit later on in figuring out that Dispo's attacks, although relatively quick, they're very, very bland in their overall capabilities of putting someone down. Hence why we saw Hit cross dimensions, catching Dispo off guard. Hence why even Goku at a certain point was able to use Super Saiyan Blue and uppercutting Dispo until Dispo moved out the way because he recognized that Goku was also increasing his speed as well, which really isn't anything new considering the fact that we've seen this from Goku during the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament when he transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 and having to even outpace Hit's time skip during that time as well, so it's no surprise that Goku was able to pretty much point out Dispo's flaws, but post your comments down below, what are your overall thoughts on Dispo's speed, what are your overall thoughts on the way he times his attacks, and having to replicate himself thousands of times over in terms of speed, and listening in on the muscle's vibrations, and trying to make determinations as to where his opponent is, and having to take the speed of light, which again is monstrously fast, of 299 million, and having to replicate that thousands of times over, is Dispo's Dispo as predictable as pointed out in this overall tournament or does he still hold an advantage and possibly having to take that speed and replicating that possibly even more later on thank you all for watching guys once again i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to go on ahead and slap a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and i'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below have a wonderful day guys peace hello ningen for us to proceed with the zero mortals plan I'm going to need you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Please do remember to turn on notifications to be the first to know about the latest in Dragon Ball news and information. And if you don't, I'll destroy you along with the entire universe.